There we go. All right, now it's working. Sweet. Hello, everybody. Okay. Cool. Reach 
up and over. I want you to get a little bit of rotation here. So think about taking your hand to your opposite shoulder up above your head. So we're going to side body stretch as we're doing a bridge. Make sure that you're not, and your body won't really allow this in this movement, but make sure we're not overly forcing our hips to open up. Just let them open up as high as they naturally want to go. You'll we'll feel if you're forcing it, and then we get that good strong reach. All right, so that's it for today. Make sure you have your water handy. Once again, we're going to be really intentional with all of these movement patterns. Working for 30 seconds each. I'm going to move my box back a little bit so my head's not chopped off in our exercises. All right, so let me get our timer set up. We're going to start out on the ground with those shin boxes. If any of these movements give you any kind of issue, feel free to modify as needed. You can either not go as far. You can even elevate yourself if you need to. All right, so we're going to start with those shoe boxes. So we have the more knees bent. We're going to rotate. Yeah, so trying to lead with your heels. Take your heels towards the ground, and you're rotating in your hips side to side. Good. Trying to get both legs down. Breathing through this. All right. After this, we're going to add that extension of the hips. In three, two, one. All right. We're going to add that lift at the top. Feel the hip flexors stretch. Squeeze your cheeks as you lift up. Good. Go. Exhaling as you come up, inhaling as you roll to the other side. Over halfway, we're going to let that lizard stretch. Two, one. All right, and we're going to get into a high plank position here. Bring your right foot to your right hand, and then actively press up that knee. Then switch. Exhale as you bring your knee forward. Inhale as you go back. Work within a range of motion that feels good to you. All right, next we're going to go to the sumo rocking top. So we're going to stand up, get our base wide, toes out, send your hips back. And then reach to the outside of your foot. Feel that good stretch on the inner thigh as you rock side to side. Keep your chest proud so your collarbones are long. Your back is nice and flat. We get 10 seconds left. Then we have some active recovery for five, four, three, two, one. All right. In your active recovery, let's just keep it moving. Do some jumping jacks, do some mountain climbers, do some squats. Just gonna keep moving. We got 15 more seconds left in this press. All right, we got five seconds. Let's go ahead and get back down on our mat with those chin boxes. Both knees bent. Exhale and rotate. Turn the music back up a little bit. All right. We've got 10 seconds left. Then we're going to those extensions. Two, one. All right. Then we lift and extend. So inhale as you're transitioning to the other side. Exhale. As you extend the hips, squeeze the butt. There we go. Really intentional here, you guys. Two, one. All right, going to that blizzard stretch. So we're getting that high plane. Bring that foot towards your hand. Press out and then switch. Good. 
and split. So split is flat on top of the box. Drop that back knee down. So if this is too difficult in reverse to balance, you can just do a split stance lunge on the ground. Just try to drop that back knee down. Your front leg is working, but I want you to focus on getting a good stretch. And that quad and hand my hip flexor. Look that back leg. And one. All right, sit down. Sumo squat. So your weight's in front of your chest. Feet are wide, toes are out. Open up your hips. Drop back into your three. Inhale down. Exhale up. Here you go. Nice. Keep those knees, try to with your second, third toe. Really let your glutes get long at the bottom, and then a big squeeze at the top. We rest in three, two, one, set your wings down. Nice job. All right, so, uh, once again, the Jefferson Curls, that is not looking to you. Next one, three, two, other active extension. So, get your elbows on the box and just try to draw your chest up strong. I'm assuming that if it doesn't feel good for you, that flexion doesn't feel good. So, we want to get into some extension. If you're doing the Jefferson curl again, let's use the knock on our box. Tuck your chin, hands over, let your arms go long, let your back relax at the bottom. And uh, unfold. Yeah. Let's get it one more here. Tuck your chin. Go long. And uh, next word. All right, let's sit down. Let's dance. Squat, here we go. Drop that back knee down. Your front leg's working, but once again, we're going for that stretch of that back leg. Inhale down, exhale up. Our belly button is pulled in just gently so our pelvis is stable. We're switching to five, two, one. Nice job. And switch. Set your base nice and stable and drop it down. Strong ankles, strong knee. Strong hip on that stabilized leg. Inhale down, strong exhale up. Less than 10. Now we're going to do single squats. Three, two, one. Nice job, guys. All right, single squats. Knees out, toes out. Drop your booty. If you start to get tired, as it works, think about pushing up the kettlebell to lift yourself out on a squat. Inhale down. So up. We get 10 seconds. Good. Long collarbones. Three, two, one. Woo! Quads. All right. Keep the rhythm in some way.
Way to go. Enjoy the rest of your day.